<clears throat> so I am pretty aware that every person in this world uh, always has some sort of theme to their life, you know. Uh, everybody goes through some problems, whether it's that your parent has left you or you have problems with your siblings or just people go through a lot of things in their life and everybody has a theme to learn from. And I would say that my theme were always romantic relationships because um, that was a huge deal for me and I've always tried to figure myself out I've always felt a little bit different than others and uh, stuff like that and then when I was about 15 years old um, there was this um, person that I really liked and that person happened to be a boy and that was kind of shocking for me because I, for the first time I was, well, not for the first time, I knew something was different with me, but this time the rush of those feelings was so intense that I no longer could deny that f feeling to myself. So that caused me a lot of internal trouble and I just thought about myself every day. And I remember I just, you know, I had those feelings like I was going back and forth thinking about everything I was thinking about oh you're just confused this is this is this doesn't mean anything it's it's okay uh, it, it, it's just it's just your fear and stuff like that and um, so I tried to let it go but as you know as it is those feeling those feelings uh, came uh, on and on they kept returning to me and I couldn't stop thinking about that person, you know. <laughs> and it was just crazy. Those were the years of my high school days when you just watch the people around you and they're obviously having fun and the first romances of people around you start and you just look around and you don't feel like you fit anywhere. And it causes you this loneliness that it's, it's really heartbreaking and it's really hard. Like right now I am laughing because I'm really happy about who I am now but going through those days I remember that I just wanted to fall asleep and just never wake up just forget who I am I just didn't want to be who I was going to be you know? but the funny thing is is that once I fully accepted myself it was like this it was like a complete turnaround and I realized that I just realized that all that denying has caused me much greater pain than just me accepting the things as they are and I really felt this joy uh, that I am just who I am and that feeling that something was holding me back was gone and that was great and then I told my brother and my friends and my family and they accepted it too and that was my journey towards self-acceptance. Also, uh, I know a lot of people, and a few of my friends actually, would consider themselves to be somewhere in the middle, you know, and I, I know a, a lot of people could find themselves being attracted to, to the person of same sex, uh, but they would never really feel that pull towards them as I felt. So that is really interesting too, and I know a lot of, a lot of for example, my favorite musicians and a lot of my uh, favorite artists would consider themselves to be, you know, bisexual or whatever. And that helped me a lot to re realize that there are people like that. And I just wanted to talk to you about this because I know that a lot of p young people, when they are going through their teenage years and they're figuring themselves out and stuff like that, you know, they're trying to be cool or whatever, <laughs> uh, they make a lot of assumptions. Um, and I know that one of the most powerful assumptions people nowadays make is that they they mistake gentleness and sensitivity for a weakness and that's not something uh, only young people do it's something we collectively as a humanity do and I was I spent so many years trying to figure out uh, what what part of this feels wrong to me I I feel that there's something missing there's this puzzle missing to this, Tr 
trouble because it's not only about sexuality or whatever, it's also about that collective myth that we're supposed to be like tough and that doesn't allow especially men to feel sensitive and vulnerable and then you wonder why so many relationships are just so disconnected and people are just so untrue to each other and there we're wondering why we have the world we have right now it would be great if we could change that because the goal is not every for everyone to become like like me but the goal is for a regular man to realize that it wouldn't hurt anyone to be just a little more gentle, you know. It wouldn't hurt anyone. And it would actually, in fact, uh, make you more of a man.